Hey guys, welcome back again. So in this video, let's see that how do we serve directories inside Node.js like we see in the FTP clients. So here is that completed application as we can see that here we are serving this directory that is called FTP and here are a couple of files inside this directory that is this image file. So if we click on the image file, we can view it. And then if we click on this dummy.pdf file, then we can also view the PDF file here. And if we go back and if we want to go further into another directory that is the swan pack so let's go inside this and here we can again do the same things so to go back we can click here so this is the completed application which we are going to build so let's start doing this so let's go here and here i've created a new directory that is called servdir and if we look at into it it's an empty directory so let's initialize a new npm project inside it now with the default values so npm init hyphen y and then we create our app.js file that will be the entry point for our application. So touch app.js to create this app.js file. And inside this uh, directory, I would also like to create a folder that is called public. So make the public like this. And now let's open our application. So I'm using VS code here. So I can do code dot to open VS code. So now let's go full screen. Let's close this. So let me increase the font size. So now let's look at the package.json file. And here we have a single script that is a test script. So let me make a start script here. So we can do npm start. And here instead of this, let me use nodemon app.js. And I'm using nodemon globally. So I can use nodemon app.js. Otherwise, you can do node app.js. And if you haven't, haven't installed nodemon globally, then you can simply run npm install hyphen g nodemon to install nodemon globally on your system but i am not going to do that so now let me add a couple of dependencies here so first dependency would be the express because we are using the express server so save express and then we need another dependency that is called serve index so serve index like this so let me install them and now let's go to our app.js file and here let me create the express application so cost express equal to require express and then we also want to require that server index dependency so const serve index equal to require server index like this and then we initialize our app so app const app equal to express and then we want to listen on port 3000 so app dot listen on port 3000 and then we have a callback and we can simply console log that server on port 3000 so our rocket is on port 3000 so let me save this and now what I want to do, I want to paste some files inside this public folder. So let me copy some files here or some folders here. And let's open this public folder and let me paste those files here. So this is our public folder. So let me paste it here. And if we look at the public folder now, then we have a CSS directory that is empty. If we have a FTP directory that we want to serve. And then we have the images directory and the JS directory. And it's a typical public directory which you will have inside your application. So these JS, image and CSS are dummy directories. They do not contain anything. But I have included them for a reason and you'll get to know why. And now finally what we can do, we can start our application. So we can do npm start. And we'll see that the rocket is on port 3000. So now let's use this module that is server index. So what we do want to do this module will act as a middleware to serve your directory so what we can do we can use it as a middleware like this so app dot use and here we need to provide in the path that is which url you want to serve that is here if you look at it here that i am providing a url that is called forward slash stp to serve my this directory and here you can provide it any url but i am going to provide ftp so let's provide ftp here and secondly, we need to provide in the static directory. So express.static. And here we can provide in public. And this is the wrong thing which I am doing, but I am doing it for a reason. And this is because I just want to show it to you that why it is wrong. And then I want to use this middleware that is serve index. And here we need to provide in the path. That is the path which should be served. 
and the path which should be served would be public like this and then we can provide an object here that is to display the icons as you can see in the completed application that uh, this is an icon of an image this is an icon of a zip file and this is an icon of a pdf file so here what we can do we can simply provide icons to be true that is the icon should be provided to our files so let's save this application and if we go to forward slash ftp then we would be serving this public directory so let's go back here and let's uh, go to localhost port 3000 forward slash ftp and we see that we are inside the ftp folder but if we go inside here we can see all the things here but this is not what we want to serve that is inside a typical application then you do not want to serve your js files or your css files or your images folder directly on the ftp but instead you only want to serve this ftp folder so what we can do we can go back to our application and here instead of serving this public directory what we can serve here we can serve here ftp and again this application won't work so let's go back to our application let's refresh it though we see that everything seems to work but the application is still broken if we go to this image we see that we see here that cannot get ftp forward slash rain because these urls that is this ftp forward slash rain is a relative url to your public directory so what we can do we can go back here and instead of making this public directory static what we can do we can simply put here forward slash ftp that is we want to make this ftp directory to be used as a static directory for this route so let's save this application and this time everything will work fine so let's go back let's refresh it and we see our image so let's go back again let's click on this bulldog file here and we see two playful bulldogs are playing so let's go back let's open this dummy.pdf file and it is working and if we click on this uh, sample.zip file it would be directly downloaded so let's click here and we see that the file is downloaded if we go to the fonts pack and if we click on this file it would be automatically downloaded if we click on this file this would be again be automatically downloaded if you want to go up one folder we can simply click here the dots here or what we can do we can simply click on ftp here and if we want to go to the root route so let's click on this uh, delay here then we see that cannot get because we haven't handled the home route and if you want to handle the home route, then you can handle it the typical way. And you can also search for the files. So suppose if I want to search for this rain file. So if I type rain here, it would be highlighted like this. So let me clear out this. If we click on sample here, we see that the two files with the name of samples have been highlighted. So this is a very nice dependency to use inside your application in case you need it. So that's all about this application and if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel do subscribe to my channel and if you want you can support me on the links in the description below. So thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day.